Hello everyone. I am here live. Let me get this camera ready. I am here live to talk to you about skincare that can actually turn back the time and do wonders for your skin. So welcome to my first live video here on our Facebook group. So if you are watching us um, now on Facebook live, welcome. If you're watching on the replay, welcome. If you're watching on YouTube on the replay, welcome and stick around. We're going to talk about some, some great skin care, about uh, some products that can literally um, accelerate the rate that your skin um, comes to the surface from the deeper layers and the renews. So this is, this is amazing. I've been using this for about a month and I have noticed already a lot of difference. So I hope you're gonna love them as much. Well, I know you're gonna love them as much as, as I do because how can you not love skincare that can really uh, get your skin uh, so incredibly radiant and it just it's, it just feels so much like it's smoother and it not as much blemish. I actually don't have any makeup on right now, which is kind of scary for me to be here live and no skincare. Let me get light a little bit more closer here. That window is not helping, right? So um, that's uh, things of live live transmission so let me get this lower a tad oh, that looks better that looks better already now now we're talking there you go so i am so excited to talk to you about the skincare line uh from synogens and i've joined synogens uh, at the end of January, so it was like the last day of January, and I started wearing the makeup products in uh, February, and I started using the skincare line uh, at the beginning of March. So literally, it's been a month, and I my skin is just completely different. Like I don't have nearly as many blemishes as I used to have. I still have uh, dark under eye circles. I'm working on that. I'm going to receive uh, this week uh, under eye circle cream and I'm dying to try it out. Of course, I'm going to tell you all about it and see how and you, you guys can see my progress, how it's going uh, to change this thing here. But really, I think it's genetic. I've had him for a long time, so it's not like just a one night thing. I mean, it's there. So um, I'm going to talk to you about like my daytime a moisturizing uh, regime and I use a few different product products and I can go through them really quickly but since I'm going to be talking to you about what I use I'm gonna take a little longer than I normally do I can do this in less than five minutes really I mean five minutes is quite a lot uh, it's not even that probably two minutes but I, I don't usually talk when I'm getting ready in the morning so I can do this pretty quickly but here it's going to look like I'm taking a long time. I'm not. It's because I'm talking. I'm sure you won't be talking to yourself as you do this in the morning. Or maybe you do. I don't know. But hey, that's up to you. Mm. So I'm going to show you uh, the things that I use. Okay. The first thing that I use is um, I wash my face with our three-in-one cleanser. It's probably going to be backwards. Anyway, you get the idea. The three-in-one cleanser, and I use it. Mine is a normal to dry skin, and we have um, normal to, uh, a dry line, normal to dry, normal to oily, and uh, oily to acne line. So the, depending on your skin type, you're gonna use your appropriate three-in-one cleanser. So I use but a tiny little bead, and I've been using this for a month over a month now and so really I only use this much you use the size of a pea maybe yeah about a size of a pea in morning and evening 
so twice a day. This should last you about six months. So, I mean, most most cleansers out there won't last you this long. They might last you a, a month. This is supposed to last you about six months. And um, it's three in one because it is a cleanser, a toner, and an exfoliator, a, a light exfoliator. So I used a little bit, wash my face with that, and this morning I used my uh, polishing uh, exfoliator. And this one is a very, very fine, very good for sensitive skin. Um, let me open this jar for you. Um, here. And you can see it's a light gray uh, cream in here. And I use that and I exfoliate. It's really a very light, there's no grainy thing. It's a very smooth and silky feeling. It's very, very fine, fine grain. They, we have another one that is a little coarse grain and that one is like more heavy duty, wonderful. Uh, this one is good for, for just touch-ups. You can use more frequently than the other one, although some people use it more often than maybe what's recommended, but you know, depends on how your skin is. And this one is very fine and I, I, I wash my face. I did a little light exfoliation with that and it feels so wonderful because it has soothing ingredients, both the three in one and the exfoliator. It has ingredients that are going to be anti-aging. So everything in the line from the, the cleanser all the way to the last cream you put on, it's going to be hydrating and it's going to be anti-aging. The anti-aging runs in almost every single product, including the makeup. It's all in the skincare, the anti-aging, and in most of the makeup. There are only four things that don't have the anti-aging. And, and as you know, there are some things that are extremely important when it comes to anti-aging. And the, the things are, hyaluronic acid and its smaller molecule sister uh, sodium hyaluronate. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Um, the smaller one goes deeper. We have vitamin C and all the antioxidant vitamins out there, ingredients. And we have another thing that's called Cineplex Complex and Cinegens is the only one that has this one because it's a patented uh, ingredient. And that shows to renew the skin uh, cells 23.3% faster than, than normal. So it's going to get your cells, your plump, beautiful skin cells that are deep, deep in the layers of the dermis, your um, deeper layer of your skin, and bring it to the surface faster. Because when your skin gets naturally closer to the surface, starts to get very flat and very dull and there's some gray substance around it and then you get patches of your, you know, some discoloration. And that's because it's taking longer now than you're older to renew your cells. And when you're younger, you renew them at a faster rate. So the Cineplex Complex kind of turns back the clock and get your cells turning around faster. So that's why I said it turns the clock around for your skin, and it really does. It's it's uh, They did an independent study, and that's the numbers they got. It's not like they didn't do their own study. They had another, like a third party, independent um, uh, place, um, lab, do their studies, and that's the numbers they got. And they're pretty, amazing numbers. I mean, can you imagine turning around 23% faster? In reality, what does this mean? And what am I seeing for myself? I see that if I have any boo-boos or any thing that's going on with my skin, little nicks or something that happened, I'm healing like way faster than I used to before. Like if when I do my eyebrows and if I, there's a little nick there or a little uh, thicker hair that I plucked out and or a little zit that's not like a full-blown zit but there's a little thing that comes out and then there's a little dot there it used to go through a 
longer period to, for it to heal. Now it heals super fast. So that's the three main things uh, for anti-aging. And guess what? Most of our products have the hyaluronic acid and the um, vitamins and all sorts of goodies goodies for your skin like it's like Gatorade for your skin um, and I mean from the cleanser can you imagine a cleanser with anti-aging even the body wash has anti-aging I mean, who doesn't want to bathe in anti-aging right hello I do uh, so don't forget it's not just your face and your neck and your your decolletage and your arms everything so from the cleanser all the way to the last cream we have Cineplex complex and some other ones are more concent concentrated on the hyaluronic acid or the sister with the smaller molecule. And why do I say that that's important? It's important because you don't want a cream that's just going to sit on your face and be too big to go through your pores and into the layers of your skin where you need your cream to go and, and work. So what Synagins did, they created uh, products with different size molecules that are small enough to actually go through your skin and be where it needs to be to work. So that's why it's different. A lot of the creams out there are simply too big or they have the wrong uh, delivery mechanism and they just evaporate out of your face and they don't, don't go anywhere, they slide right out. Uh, might look great when you put on, but then after you know an hour, it, you don't, it's like not there. So this doesn't happen with, with our line, seriously, because it just, your skin just soaks it in. It's, it's good. So without further ado, ado let's go ahead and, and do our daytime uh, skin regimen here because it is fantastic and I love, 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 love this part of the morning. So first thing, wash my face with the three in one and I did a, I don't do the exfoliator every day but uh, you can do like about three times a week or so. It depends on the condition of your skin. But I did it today. The next thing we're gonna do is the anti-wrinkle cream. This is like, cannot be without this one. And really, for with all our products, just a little bit will do. About this much is like, it's smaller than my fingernail. And we're gonna apply, I'm gonna use right here. You know how, how you get the 11s there? I hate those. And now that I've been using this for about a month, I can barely see mine. Can you see it? I mean, it's way, 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 way better. And I like to do it right here too. And your skin soaks it right up and under the eye so all of these products have uh, the cineplex complex that make your skin renew faster and this one the anti wrinkle cream it um and i'm still getting from from my hand um it has such a small molecule size that this goes and it relaxes the muscles and it relaxes all those uh wrinkle causing contractions that you go like this but now you don't see them you used to before but now you don't ha and i have a problem here and so it also prevents the breakdown of collagen because guess what? You're gonna get wrinkles because you're gonna lose water from your skin and you're gonna lose collagen, breakdown of collagen. And collagen is a fundamental part of your skin structure. Without collagen, there's no elasticity, there's no, there's no support for the skin. And when you age, let's say you get some lines around your mouth. I'm still using that. See how much? I mean, you don't need a whole lot. Now, with the little bitty that I have left, I'm going to put some here. And I'm going to 
Do you want to just bathe in this stuff? <laughs> oh. It is so good. Okay, next is, um, oh, by the way, they call this Botox in a jar. That's how much it goes. It's like really. Oh, one thing, it uh, was shown to decrease the depth of fine lines and wrinkles uh, up to f almost 56% in two months. So invest two months of your life using this and I'm sure you won't be sorry because I have been using this for a month and I just love it. Okay, the next one is climate control. And climate control is literally like a little miracle in a jar. It is good for redness, for uh, improves the conditions of like rosacea. Um, you know, like those redness that we get around right here sometimes. Um, sunburn or burns. It, um, it's just like it's the most hydrating uh, product ever. This is the smallest molecule. It goes really deep. And uh, oh, it's just so good. So I'm going to do two sprays. Two sprays on my hand. You can spray your face too. I'm going to two sprays, maybe three. I'll do three because I'm going to do my neck too. Two, three. And then, oh, I hope I didn't get the camera with it. Oh, it's just so good. By the way, these are the lipsticks. Swatches that I did this morning. Look at this. It does not budge whatsoever. This is our eyeshadow. Look at that too. It's not going anywhere. And right here is our one of our foundations. It's waterproof, y'all. This is waterproof foundation. How about that? Look. It is. This is an eyeshadow that I use for eyeliner. It doesn't go anywhere. Look. It's wonderful. Okay, so this was climate control. It has... Uh, Cineplex Complex, it has a uh, sodium hyaluronate, that's the anti-aging uh, miracle thing. And it has uh, all sorts of um, botanicals and things of the sort, oils and vitamins in here. Very good for your skin. And the next one that I mentioned earlier was the vitamin C. Now vitamin C has been getting a lot of press lately. And those vitamin C creams can run quite a pretty amount of money. The problem with the, most of them out there in the market is that they are not stable. So what does that mean? It means that the vitamin C that, that was active when they put it in, the cream that was active then is no longer active just some time after they put it in and you're just putting cream on your face with an inactive vitamin C. The difference of our vitamin C, it comes, it has little beads. Let's see if you can see it. Uh, can you see little beads in there? So those little beads, they protect the vitamin C. So they are safe in there and they are only activated when you pump them out. And when you pump them out, they are like emulsified in your hand and then that's act active and you can put it on your face and then it starts to work immediately on your face. So be sure not to waste your money on creams that are that don't have the, the correct delivery system for your vitamin C. And this is extremely anti-aging. This with climate control, extreme anti-aging guys, extreme anti-aging capacity over here so gonna be one pump i mean i'm telling you it's just tiny 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 amount and i'm gonna put you can break them in your hands before you apply if if you prefer to I've, I've tried both ways or you can just spread them and put some on my neck too and Now you always have to follow the climate control with your moisturizer to seal it in. And this one too, you rub it in there with your climate control. 
Hey, and put it in your hands too, you know. <laughs> All right. So this is like so good. It absorbs really quick. Now, the next thing is really an option for most people. It's extreme hydration and it's called Nengai oil. It's from a nut and it's not greasy at all on your face. It's, it's, um, has triglycerides in that, um, in this bottle. And it's from, it's the most pure form or the, of the oil. It's not processed, uh, oil. And when it comes out of the nut is already pure. A lot of the, the creams, and, and they're good, triglycerides are very moisturizing for your skin. Uh, they have to be processed. This one doesn't. And this one, with this one, for scars, um, for stretch marks, amazing results when you use these two. So you can do, uh, I'm going to put a little piece here on my hand about about four drops and I'm going to melt them and put it in my face in my neck you can do this oil if you have dry skin or normal to dry skin like me you can do morning and night with this if your skin are a little bit more on the oily side you can do it um, nighttime only and this is for all skin types, what I use so far, except, except for the three-in-one and then the daytime moisturizer that I'm going to use uh, next. Uh, everything else is for all skin types. And it really, even if you have oily uh, skin, that doesn't mean you don't need moisturizing. It means that you do need moisturizing, but you need the right kind of a moisturizer. And this is just so good. It's silky. It's not greasy at all. And hey, if you have enough, just <laughs> elbows and thighs, go for it. <laughs> Don't waste any of it. It's so good, so good. Okay, now we're going to have our daytime moisturizer. And mine is normal to dry. And the normal to dry is... Um, well, all of them, all of the daytime moisturizers have um, a, an equivalent to SPF 15. It is a mechanical SPF. It's not the chemical SPF that you normally have on um, regular sunblocks out there, you know, that can be very uh, irritating to your skin. Uh, this is a mechanical shield. It's a natural, natural sunblock. And the benefit of a natural sunblock, it can add. So this one has a, a mechanical shield equivalent to SPF 15. When you get to your foundation or your uh, tinted moisturizer, it's going to be another mechanical shield of 15. So it's going to be 30. Okay. So it adds up. It's different than the regular SPF. So we're going to do uh, about a pump and a half or one pump. I'm feeling generous today because I'm kind of dry. Today's kind of cold. But one pump should be enough. So these products you actually use very little. And I'm doing my neck too. Mmm, so good. And don't forget your eyes. And this one was for normal to dry skin. And it has the Cinepec Plex Complex. And it has all sorts of anti-aging. So everything you are putting on has anti-aging in it. And it's totally uh, different than than the, the everything else out there. And I've noticed, especially here, how different it is. So um, now, this is the next step is like one of my favorite because our eye area, 
uh, is very, very sensitive and we need to be very careful with, with uh, our eye when we apply makeup and everything. And this one is the eye cream. And the eye cream, you only need a little bit. And this eye cream will have um, the effect of protecting any drag that you might have on your, on your lid and around your eye. And it has super, super anti-aging and hydration here. The skin around the, our eyes are, is the skin that moves the most because we are talking constantly with our eyes. And we are moving and squinting and doing all sorts of movements with our eyes and that's where we first get lines it's around our eyes so this will decrease the the drag and it will fill up fill out uh, the lines that we have there too and just a little bit of melts on your finger so luxurious so good And I put there too. And don't forget to put it on the top lid. Don't be afraid. This will be absorbed really quickly. And actually, there's a huge difference between makeup applied on a non-moisturized skin, non-prepared skin, and one that has been prepared. It's like night and day. Even when you're going to paint a wall, you have to prep the wall. You can't just slap paint on it. You have to do some stuff to the wall or when you're going to paint a vase or a chair or a table you always have to sand and you have to prepare the surface before you apply the, the the paint on there same thing with makeup you have to get make sure your skin is okay otherwise it's going to be very grayish looking and it's going to it's not going to look as good do do that test yourself and see the difference because it is like night and day all right, so now we put on our eye cream. That was the last thing. It's like I said, it's taking me a while because I'm talking as I'm going. This I can do like in about two minutes. I do it real quick. Now that I'm talking to you, <laughs> it's not so quick. But the nighttime is a little different. In another day, I'll do the nighttime. There are a couple different things that I do. And there's like a night long treatment and uh, something that's fantastic. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to, um, uh, where did it go? I'm going to prepare my lips and I guess I left it over there somewhere else. I would do a lip, um, a lip plumper on my lips to, um, get it ready for, for my lipstick. So I can do that now and that kind of improves the collagen too. It's a treatment, it's not like one that you put on right away and it plumps up immediately because that's if you have that expectation then you're gonna be disappointed. The lip volumizer is to hydrate and it's to improve the collagen inside your lips. So it's a treatment, it, it improves with time and improves hydration and that takes a, a couple of weeks if not more between two weeks a month maybe a little bit more so it's not like bam your lips are plumped that's that's not what it is at all it's just to improve the hydration and with time improve the collagen inside in your, in your tissue so at night I'm, I'm using the lip balm you can do this during the day too it's fantastic I highly recommend it okay so now we have all that there our skin is ready to get some makeup on because we've prepared it um, I am gonna use because today's Sunday and I don't want any heavy makeup today I'm not going anywhere fancy uh, so a uh, color tinted moisturizer will be enough to cover most of this that's happening over here and it has the equivalent to SPF 15, so added to my daytime uh, moisturizer will be at SPF 30. So I'm going to do a pump and a half because I know that's kind of how, how much I need to build up a little bit coverage. Uh, if you don't have a lot of stuff going on, one pump will be enough. And I just dot where I need it to go. Oh, actually, how about we do just the one side? Ooh, how about that? So you can see the difference. I'm going to wipe this this out. So you can see 
the difference. I'm going to do this side only. How about that? So you can see. And then, of course, I'll do the other side. I won't go around with just half a side of the face. That would be interesting, though. Get people's attention. All right. Let's see if I can do that. All right, so now I'm going to use use this brush. You can use your hand, too. Oh, there's no need to bring a brush into this. See how much coverage? And this is just a color tinted moisturizer. And if you are looking for a little bit more coverage than a, co a color tinted moisturizer, you can do one of the foundations and guess what they are waterproof you can go swimming in this thing i'm gonna do half how's that how's my half going it won't be a half it's a perfect half okay so there's nothing here just color tinted moisturizer that i'm applying and it's like cream with a little bit tint and it has a, a a bit of um the the pigment that hides red so it kind of corrects your skin tone for you there so really that amount that i did was totally too much because i'm just doing half of my face kind of half a pump would have done it okay i didn't do my eyes on purpose because i'm gonna use something else on there i have hooded eyes so when I open my eyes, you can't really see most, most of the work I've done. So um, because I have hooded eyes, I don't like to layer too many layers. I'm already going to do a couple layers or three of eyeshadow, and I don't want to add another layer of cream. So I add another one that's another eyeshadow, and it will be very thin. It's, it's a cream to powder and has uh, skin care in it. It has anti-aging uh in your eyeshadow can you imagine wearing eyeshadow and it's anti-aging in color and beautiful so that's what so it's, it doesn't stop with with your creams it goes on all the way with your makeup there's anti-aging in the color tinted moisturizer there's anti-aging in the eyeshadow this there's, there's anti-aging in the blush so you're just your whole face is like working for you to turn back that clock all right, for my darkness here, I'm gonna use uh, Candlelight. It's an eyeshadow, and I'm gonna use it as a primer. And uh, it's it's a nice color there that can um, be very natural. And what I'm doing is I am just, do you see the motion I'm doing, stipple? because I don't want to drag anything. I've noticed that it works better when you stipple and look at how fabulous, how fabulous it, it blends. It looks incredible. Okay, now guys, look at this side. See if I can bring some light there. Look at this side and this side. Can you see the difference? And I didn't do very much. Look at the difference. No, no makeup. And I have here only the color tinted moisturizer and a primer. It's one of our eyeshadows that I put as a primer. How about that? Pretty, pretty neat. Now I'm going to use a little concealer on my under eye area. And it's in the color light. And really, a tiny dot, I'm going to put it where you can see, a tiny dot, this will be enough to do everything I need to do. Tiny, 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 tiny. Everything with our products, a little bit goes a long way. So I'm getting from this little dot, and I'm going to use that there. And I'm just doing the one side so you can see the difference of this side and the other side oh my goodness it looks good it 
there. So if I had any other problems, and guess what? I'm going to use this beauty blender. Really, a beauty blender is really great to uh, do your under eye because it blends. So you really want to put some color there where your line is. This light is not flattering at all, you guys. Okay, it's huge difference. Look at this side. Let's see if I can. Look at this side. And this side. This side only has the skincare. This side has the the color tinted moisturizer, the candlelight eyeshadow that I used as base, and a concealer. This is Drastic difference. Drastic difference. Okay, so now we can move on to a little color. And we're going to do a very simple eye. I wanted to start with something easy, something simple, so you can um, just get the idea of a very quick makeup. Again, you're not going to be talking to yourself this much when, you, when you're doing this in the morning, so it's not going to take you very long at all. I'm going to use, let me pick a fun color. Mulberry. I'm gonna use Mulberry. Mulberry eyeshadow. Mulberry eyeshadow and I'm gonna use a round fluffy brush. Okay, I'm gonna do a dot here. How about that? Just dotted there. And I'm gonna use a fluffy kind of dome and that will be my transition color and a little bit it's easier to add than to remove and I'm doing the one side only so you can see the difference between no makeup and makeup and this is a very natural look that I'm doing over here it doesn't need to be anything fancy or hard you can do this. When people say, oh, I can't do makeup. Yes, you can. It's just like playing. It's just like having fun. It's not something serious like, oh my goodness, I have to have a recipe or something. No, don't need to. Okay, now I'm gonna get Mocha Java. And now I'm gonna get Garnet. I'm gonna be a little bold. Oops, things are falling. Um, garnet. I'm gonna get a garnet. It's a brown. Look at this. It's a brown garnet. It's a little brown and I'm gonna get a smaller. Look, I'm gonna show you the, t the three brushes that I use. So this first one is that I apply the base, the candlelight base. Then the mulberry, the little pink color skin tone right there. And I'm gonna, gonna get the small one and I'm gonna do a tiny Tiny thing of garnet in my crease. Maybe a little more. Tiny, tiny, tiny. And I'm going to use that around my crease, okay? And it's easier to add than it is to remove, to subtract. So you do also, see I'm doing stiply motion. I am not going back and forth because I don't want to remove the product that we put on. This is a cream to powder and it's there's skincare in it and it is waterproof. Can you imagine the skincare in your eyeshadow and your eyeshadow is waterproof? See, this is what I put. This is an eyeshadow too, the black one. That's what I use for eyeliner. And look at this. Look at that. And this one is the is a foundation. And this is the lipstick. So it all will stay in place. It will stay in place. Okay, so it's easier to add than it is to subtract. So I'm going to add a little bit. And you can add until you get to the color that you want. I'm going for a natural look today. So I don't need to add a whole lot. I just need a little bit. And then you blend. Mm. 
And there it is. And then you blend. See? Now, this side doesn't have any makeup. And this side has the makeup. Okay? So, no makeup. And this has the uh, uh, color tinted moisturizer, the concealer, and it has the base, that's the candlelight eyeshadow, and it has a little bit of garnet. Oh, and mulberry is my transition color. So, you just make sure it's all blended. And you can already see the difference there. Okay, so to finish up this eye, since I'm doing a very, very nice and... Um, simple eye and not just easy you see this is easy you can do this there there's no secret to this i'm going to do mm, what am i going to do i'm going to do copper shimmer rose yeah, come for a little shimmer because a girl needs a shimmer um this is a copper color and it has a little shimmer in it now for for the shimmers and for the lighter shades or my my um most prominent color or my like my lid color i use a flat brush see because i will have more control of the shadow this way and sometimes i might dot it like i did i think dotting is easier when you're trying to blend than when you're trying to just uh, put it on there uh, for this for the big eyeshadow so what i do i kind of paint my let me show you I paint my brush in it and then I go and I do this. So this way you get your pigment a little stronger than if you're just doing the windshield wipe motion. This way you have more control and the colors stay on there nicer or nicely, more nicely, you say that. If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments below and then I can, uh, or, or message me and I can help you if you have any questions about the skincare or any products that I'm using here today. Uh, I would be happy to help you or with makeup tips or makeup questions that you may have. And certainly I will help you out. I will be happy to help you and play makeup with you. You don't need to ask me twice <laughs> for that. All right. So this is a very easy eye. Can you see the difference? Good. Not so good. Good. Not so good. <laughs> There you go, see, half a face. All right, now we are gonna let that dry a little bit. This is um, cream to powder. It's like, it's very, very like a molecule deep thing. So there it is. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit before I'm gonna put my mascara. Usually I do my mascara um, the last thing. That's what I do. Let's do some blush. Ooh, how about we contour? Okay, we'll contour, simple contour for beginners or people in a hurry. Because if you're scared of contouring, don't. This is very easy. There's nothing to this, okay? There's, I promise you, there's nothing to it. I have another eyeshadow and that's what we're gonna use for contouring. It's Mocha Java. I'm gonna do a line, I mean, really, it's just a line. If you can do a line on a piece of paper, you can do a line on your face. And it's just like, bam, right there. Okay. And we're going to get a blush, a blush, <laughs> a brush, and we are going to blend that. Okay. And really, I'm just tippling it. And what a contour does, it really gives the illusion of a thinner face than reality. So I'm all for that. I'm all for that illusion. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, so we have that going on. See, it looks much better this side, y'all, than this side. Okay, so now we are ready for some, some a blush and some highlight. Uh, hmm, 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 
blush. We're gonna use one of my favorite brush blushes today. Where is my toasted rose? Here's my toasted rose blush. So this blush also has skincare in it, anti-aging. So everything, the eyeshadow, what I use for my uh, contour here. And you can bring this up here too, if you want. Okay, here, just get your brush and just do some of that. All right, now for blush, the best way that I found to do blush is with a stipple brush, okay? This is from e.l.f. This is like, what is it these days? $3, something like that. And we don't need much, okay? I'm doing all my things in here. Uh, if I was gonna do both faces, I'll probably use this much right here. It's really a dot, really nothing to it. This is really easy, you guys. If you're new to makeup or if you're a pro, you're gonna love this because it's just so easy and fast. Okay, so here I do some dots. I mean, there's nothing to dots, right? You can do dots. So I get the, the, the brush and I do this. Like how easy it is. Some people go back and forth. I think this blends better on my skin. You can try it on your skin and see what works best for you. But typically this works really well for me. And you can add, like I said, it's easier to add than it is to remove. So, mm, looks nice. Okay. If you wanna get fancy and you wanna do some highlight, you can. If not, this is it. And you just need some eyebrows. Don't forget your eyebrows, guys. Eyebrows are important. Now, I don't mean like the humongous, darkest, dark, like, thick, I mean, well, well, if that's your look, go for it. But for a natural look, that wouldn't be it. But in any case, don't forget your eyebrows. That's like, that's like the finishing touches of, of the face. Okay, so if you wanted to do highlight, I would do the same way. And you can use, let's use Sand Pearl Shimmer. It's another eyeshadow. And like, if you can draw a line on a piece of paper, you can do your makeup. Okay, so line right there. And you get yourself another, this is a smaller version of the stipple brush, also from, from Elf, you guys. This one, you can stipple or you can go back and forth. It doesn't, now look at that. Glow. It just glows from within. Okay, so this part of the face is done. We just need eyebrows and eyelashes. If you want to do eyeliner, um, you can do it. Uh, I'll show you a way of doing it. Very quick and easy for like a casual day that you don't need heavy makeup. Uh, you can do, let me see what we can do here. Let's do our eyebrows first. So I'm gonna get our trusty Mocha Java because I like to draw my eyebrows a little bit before I put the darker colors because so I know where it's going. It's gonna be funny on this small screen because I can't really see all that great. Yeah, try to do your makeup on a tiny little screen. That, it's, I should have gotten my mirror here. Okay. Well, there, I do have a mirror here. Okay, I'm gonna use a mirror here, guys, because I don't know, I have my glasses on. I'm gonna do this way so you can see it. All right. Oh, that looks good. So, first I did the, uh, like where I want my eyebrow to be. And it's this is a little darker than my skin. So it's not like it's gonna be this super dark color, but it's too light to be an eyebrow. 
but at least it gave like a base for where, where I want the darker color to be. Now I'm going to get a black and our black is called onyx. This is the black onyx here. See, your eyebrows and your eyeshadows won't go anywhere. Look, this is the eyeshadow. It goes nowhere. See, can your eyeliner do this or your eyeshadow? Your black ones, especially, or your lipstick, same thing. That one is the same one that I use for my eyeliner. Hey, Barbara, I see you. <laughs> so, this is, now we're doing the eyebrows. This side has no makeup. This side is plain just with the skincare that I that I applied on. Um, you can go back and, and watch the, all the steps that I did with the skincare. It has been transforming my skin and my wrinkles. I've been using that for a month. It's amazing. And then this side has makeup. I have color tinted moisturizer. I have concealer. I have blush. I have a little bit of um, a contouring here and a little bit of highlighting and I'm doing my eyebrows. Oh, and I have eyeshadows too. Very natural looking eyeshadow today. Doing a very simple look. Just so you can see like bad and good. Okay. Now we're going to do the, just the frame of the face. We put the Mocha Java where I want my eyebrows to be. And you know your eyebrows aren't going to go anywhere because look. You're not going to go anywhere. They don't budge. It's like lip sense to your, to your face. So I'm, I'm getting a little bit of the black and I'm tapping it on a piece of paper because that's too much. And then get my mirror because I can't see. Isn't that funny when you try to do your makeup but you need your glasses but you can't do it because you have glasses on? <laughs> anyway, so I go, I start where I have more darker color anyway and then I bring that color over. And you can swim in these things because, I mean, the, the stuff is waterproof. So you can go swimming and you can look fabulous while you're swimming. Or if you're sweating, if it's summer and it's all, you know, gross and humid, you know your makeup is not going to go anywhere. And there it is. So now your eyebrows on. See, my eyebrow, I have, I don't have a lot of hair here. So... When I take pictures and, and the picture comes out, it looks like my eyebrows literally start here. And I didn't think I need to do my eyebrows until I looked at one of my pictures. And I'm like, where's half of my eyebrows? Well, they, they won't show in pictures because they're too thin. And so now, now they're there. See, and it's very natural, even though I use black, but I mixed with the Mocha Java and it looks great now. Okay, so now we have the frame. And we have color on, your, on our face. Now we, we need eyebrows. Because otherwise it's going to look like we have no eye. So you can do, uh, if you like eyeliner, you can do the black eyeliner. Like this one a lot of the times. That's what I use. Sometimes I use a darker one. And where's, I use um, smoke topaz. Um, you can do the shimmer or the non-shimmer. I'm going to do a little shimmer today. Uh, and you can do, you can get uh, a brush and do it, or you can just go right on there with the applicator and, and do it this way. And this way is faster, but it will do a little thicker line. But you can just go right on there and do it. And it's super easy and super fast. There it is. So I used to spend a long time on my eyeliner and now I don't because this is so easy to do literally in two seconds I'm done with this and I'm gonna do a little bit on the on the lower lash too and it just really frames your eyes and when you do your mascara it's just gonna look finished and put together and you can do the, with the dark one, you can do with the blue. We have a denim that is gorgeous. The other day I used that as eyeliner and it looked really good. So you can really see the difference here of this eye and this eye. It's like this is more open and I, it looks like this eye smaller. And look, I'm not squinting my eyes. It's the should be the same size, but this looks like it's smaller than this one. Looks more open, doesn't it? 
Um, okay, so we have eyebrows. So all we need is some um, lashes. And we have a really cool product for lashes. My lashes are thin and long. And what happens is when I have uh, regular mascara, it ends up here in about an hour. I look like I have raccoon eyes. And my eyes water, and at work, I work with a mask on that has a plastic visor on top, and then my breath is on there, so it's humid. Well, that's the truth. And it, mascara was like not my friend. So um, I try just about every mascara out there. And when I tried this, I was like amazed, amazed. This is a two part. If you want your mascara, like if you have eyelashes like that, like, like mine, long eyelashes down here that end up in your face, or they just slide out of your, out your little lashes because that's your skin type. Then you're going to want Undersense. Undersense is a primer. It's, it builds around your eyelashes and it holds it there. It extends it uh, some, quite a bit if you want to. Uh, I like them because of that, but because it will hold my mascara. And if you don't have that problem, just the mascara alone, this is not going to go anywhere. But since I, I have this extra moisture problem, then I, I mean, I have to have these two. If you, if you don't want to try like to buy both, you can buy one tube that has like, it comes with two of them. Like one end is uh, mascara. The other end is the undersense. Uh, or if you are like me and you know, you're going to need it, then go for both. Uh, this one is a great, that's the undersense, that's the primer. So the first thing you do, you want to curl your lashes. If you can get the curler out of the jar. Curl your lashes. Ooh, hold on, there's a little left over there, there. Curl your lashes. Give it a really good curl. And then you come in with your gray. It's going to turn your eyelashes gray for a second, but then you're going to come in with your, with your black eyeliner, oh, your black mascara, and it's going to be all right. So you're going to extend it some. See, you're going to push them up a little bit. And see how it's turning gray? Can you see? Oh, I just stabbed myself. How's that? There you go. And then you're going to do the bottom lashes and you try to talk while you do mascara it is hard do you guys do faces too hey Nedra do you guys do faces too when you do when you do your makeup like I do all sorts of faces okay so we are talking about um, the makeup, let, let's let the undersense dry. This is my um, primer for my mascara. It's gonna hold my mascara in place and it's gonna extend my lashes and not gonna let it budge or be anywhere. It's gonna be here at the end of the day, just like I put it on. So let's let that dry a little bit. So this side has no makeup. That's why I look kind of funky. This side has color tinted moisturizer, has concealer has uh, eyeshadow there's a base and there's a couple of colors here and I'm doing a like a like a nude kind of eye and I have s some of the um, eyeshadow I use for contour and I have a blush and I had another eyeshadow used for my highlight very like if you do a line that's all it takes it's just like a line and blend it's so easy so fast in the morning and all this stuff literally is waterproof and budge proof this is the black eyeshadow the same eyeshadow that I, that I put in it goes nowhere this line here, it's uh, foundation. It's waterproof foundation. You can swim in this stuff. And this, of course, is the lipstick, the lip sense. And it, it doesn't go anywhere. And this is how I started, you guys. It was because of the lipstick that I needed. I wear a mask all day long for work. And I can wear a lipstick. As I'll have clown face at the end of the day. So I, my nurse friends were like, girl, we use lip sense. And I'm like, what's lip sense? So now I'm in love with the entire line, as you can see. Uh, and also the entire line has anti-aging. Who doesn't like anti-aging makeup and anti-aging skincare? 
that actually works with science behind it. So Nara understands it's dry. It was dry a while ago. I don't wait this much. I usually don't talk while I'm putting my makeup on, but so it take, it, it's faster when I'm doing by myself. So, okay, we are ready for our mascara. This is in black and it's waterproof. So when I'm wearing my mask and I have the visor on the, my mask and I'm just breathe, breathing in there, I know it's not going to go anywhere and I won't end up with raccoon eyes, you know, 30 minutes later. This will stay on. I have a picture here on the group that had my, I had my makeup on for over 10 hours and it looked just like I had put it on in the morning and I had put on, I don't know, six in the morning that day. So this stuff, it, even the lipstick, the lipstick was on there too and I had not even touched up. I only put some gloss during the day. Okay, so now, see, it was quick. It's very quick and this is, it's the mascara in black, and I use the under sense. That's the primer. It comes either separate, or you have one tube that has mascara on one end and the under sense on the other end. Now look at those two sides. Let me get a smaller brush. Looks like this eye's open and awake, and this eye's like squinting. Which even though I'm not squinting, it, it looks like I'm like this, <laughs> right? This eye's like still asleep and this like is ready to work ready to go and I look thinner on this side than I do on this side too so this is really quick work and I mean this is done you can put some some uh, translucent powder over if you want uh, but this stuff is uh, anti-aging and go completely with the line that we did before I showed from the moment that I did our three-in-one cleanser uh, and uh, the light uh, exfoliator that I did this morning and um, to all of the skincare and this look super quick super easy everyone can do it um, and it lets do our lipstick mmm what color should I do I'm gonna do since I have a like a nude eye I think I'm gonna do um, a bold color a bold red so the first thing you need to do is to clean your lips. So I have uh, water here because this lipstick, this is the lipstick right here. So that's what I use in my mask and it doesn't go anywhere. I mean, I can take the mask all, you know, on and off and it's, it's not going to be on there. So clean your lips. This is not a stain. It's not a, um, any kind of girl's drying. It is the best lipstick ever. So you make sure your lips is dry. Even your waterline. And clean. Okay, so let's do a red. Mm -hmm. So this is Lip Sense. And Lip Sense comes in a set. Okay, when the first time you get it, it comes in a set. Because you need... The, the color, of course. You need the gloss. The gloss is what seals and hydrates your mouth and it's just the most luxurious thing ever. And I mean, toss your chapstick like right there because that's just builds up wax and dries your lips more. With our gloss, it goes through the color, it goes through the tissue, allows our tissue to renew uh, normally as they should. And just hydrates, it's like the greatest form of hydration ever. Should I do just half a lip? That would be so cool. I think I'm going to do half a lip. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Let's see, because I'm so used to going all the way. Um, so, And you also need the remover, because you need to remove this thing at the end of the day, right? Or if you do a little boo-boo on the side. Okay, so we're going to do red, and I'm doing fly girl. There's another red that is fantastic. It's called blue red. And Barbara here, it's like one of her favorite colors. Blue red is like a true red. It's, it's like not, it won't turn pink on you at all. But I have Fly Girl here. We're going to use Fly Girl. And I love this. Because I'm, I'm like warm tone. I like this. All right. So this is red. This is this one. Where is it? It's this one. It's like red, red. So you want one single motion. You don't want to go back and forth. You want one single motion and you can, I mean, you can do little strokes, but don't go backwards on it. 
okay? And you want three layers, and you draw about five to 10 seconds in between layers. So let me get my mirror, otherwise I can't see. And you want three, three thin layers. If you do a thick layer, it's not going to look good. Okay, and you do your mouth like this. I'm gonna do half, let me see if I can do half. And if you have like thicker lips like me, you probably want one layer will mean more, more than one pass in different uh, heights of your lip because, well, that's how you, what you have to do. Okay, so that is drying now. And I'm gonna do the next layer. So make sure you are taking off the excess. You don't need very much product at all. And, and I'm doing just the half that has makeup. This half doesn't have any makeup. Mm. Okay. And it, like if you didn't get all of it, don't worry, you can get it in the second pass. Now don't press your lips together and you're ready for the next layer. Just make sure you get the product out. Mm. That's layer number two. Hard to hard on left. It's layer number two for the top left. <laughs> How are this? You're talking like that. Great. So makeup, no makeup. <laughs> I scare my husband with this. <laughs> All right, I'm just drying out some of this product. And last layer. Makes my little heart there. Did you see it? I don't know how I blocked you. Okay. So you wait about five seconds to 10 seconds in between layers. <laughs> All right, and then you put your gloss on. This gloss has lots of vitamins and has shea butter. And that's the gloss you want to use with your lip scents. You don't want to use other glosses. They are not compatible. They break down your color. This is what's designed to go through the color and moisturize your lips. Because lip sense is not a stain. It just sits on your lips and just stays there. So you're not eating lipstick. It's not going to end up on your teeth or in your mask. Okay, and then the gloss, you can go gloss back and forth. And look at the eye gloss wand. It's clean. There's no red in here. Mm. Oh, the difference. It's like night and day. This has no gloss. Mm. This is just smooth and buttery. This is like no bueno. Mm. It, and notice that my line here is staying where I put it. It's not going anywhere because, see, just the gloss comes out. And I can do this all day long. And there's no red on my finger or on my lips, just gloss. There it is. So, makeup, look at the difference. No makeup. And this is like a very easy, fast makeup to do in the morning. It would have taken me less than 10 minutes to do the whole thing, including the skincare that I did in the beginning. Uh, if you don't talk to yourself as much as I talk to you guys here, uh, you can do this like in a snap, be out the door super fast. Because, and no, be a, 
uh, knowing that your makeup is not going to go anywhere. It's not going to end up on your teeth when you go to that meeting, when you see people, when you go see uh, whatever it is that you do for work. You know it's not going to be all over your face smudging or raccoon eyes. It's just going to be exactly where you put it. And it has skincare just like the entire line that we showed of our products, anti-wrinkle, climate control, uh, vitamin C. All of those have anti-aging. The makeup has anti-aging. So everything is working for you to turn back time and make your skin better. You're, it's, it's a better version of your skin. And your skin is what takes over most of your body anyway. Uh, you, want, you really want to take care of your, of, your, <laughs> of your skin, right? It's like it's your face. So it's been great doing half a face with you guys this morning and doing the skincare. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm thinking of doing this more often and showing different looks. Uh, different um, eye looks, different lipstick, and might do a whole face then for you guys. Or if you like the before and after in one shot, you know, we can do that too. Uh, just let me know in the comments below what you think. And uh, if you have <clears throat> any questions, oh, excuse me. Mm. No lipstick here, guys. Look at that. Um, if you have any questions about the makeup, let me know or the skincare and I will gladly help you. If, if you want to try some colors, I will go to you where you are. We can meet up and play with makeup and try some lipstick on your hand or try it on your lips. I have some colors that you can try. Um, eyeshadows, uh, foundation, everything I, I have for you to try. And we can do this and it's going to be super fun. And I hope you guys have a fantastic Sunday, a very blessed, blessed week. And I will see you guys soon and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>